Welcome back. By far my favorite segment in the program this morning because when we are running out, they are running in. Yes, that is New York bravest. They are turning up the heat this morning. The Fire Department of New York releasing its annual calendar, showing off some of the department's hottest heroes. But there's a surprise in store for the 2017 calendar. For the first time ever, the FDNY calendar will now include women, EMTs, and paramedics. Turning me right now are five of the featured firefighters and EMTs. Esther Ford, Jackie Michelle Martinez, Josephine Smith, Joseph Chiodi, and Norman Bennett. Good to see you, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, hey congratulations on the calendar. How cool is that? Really cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I want to start with the, with, with the calendar, obviously, and, and talk to you about how this came about. But I also have to give you such kudos because, like I said, ever since 9-11 uh, and, and watching you and your colleagues in action on 9-11 just humbled me in all of New York and the entire world. So a huge thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you very much. How was uh, doing this calendar? Let, let's talk, uh, Esther, your experience. So it was very exciting, especially knowing that we get to um, do this calendar supporting a, such an awesome foundation. The FDNY Foundation, you know, they go into communities and help educate people about, you know, CPR training and um, fire safety as well. And, and Jackie Michelle, I've actually emceed this foundation dinner uh, wow. in the past. Uh, I know you're having the next dinner. You're honoring Ken Langone, who's an incredible philanthropist that's coming up in May. Yes. Yes. This is an important foundation. You're raising money for, obviously, uh, to help so many people. Absolutely. The Fire Foundation not only helps the community, but it helps us as well as firefighters. It gives us certain education and grants so we can get certain equipment to keep us safe. So the foundation not only helps the firefighters and EMS, it also helps the community. And that's why we wanted to highlight it, because people need to understand how far the money goes right. when you raise money for, for this foundation. Josephine, I really love your story because you became a firefighter because your father passed in September, on September 11th. Correct. Is that right? Yes. Tell us about that. How, that was your motivation. Yeah, well, I mean, I've always wanted to be a firefighter growing up, you know, as a little girl. Um, wanted to be everything like my father. So, you, you know, unfortunately, he passed away in 9-11 and uh, just gave me even more of a drive to, you know, fulfill my dreams following my father's footsteps. Oh, my so, God. We, we, yeah. Condolences as well as our love to your family and to all of your families and 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 really uh thank you joseph let's talk about your involvement in the in the uh, calendar as well and and norman how was it it was a great experience uh going through the photo shoots meeting new people meeting girls the guys <laughs> now not only ems <laughs> women uh, it was a tremendous experience have, have you had a big reaction from your friends i mean when <laughs> like when they see you you got those cut up ass I mean, I've been looking at these pictures, and it's like, wow. Yes. <laughs> uh, Sorry. I mean, it, it's been great support from the family and friends and stuff like that. Of course, from some of your friends that you grew up with, the guys from the firehouse, it's been... Uh, yeah. What did the guys from the firehouse say? Okay, Norman, what did the guys from the firehouse say? Seriously, give us what, what are your colleagues saying? Those who aren't in the calendar. All I can say is <laughs> what goes on in the firehouse stays in the firehouse. Oh, but I will brother. say that uh, they're, they're having a good time. Yeah. With well, it. I, I mean, I, we're not allowed to show all the pictures because you've got to buy the calendar so that they can raise money. Right. But, I mean, I'm look. wow, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Oh, my goodness. This is like a... Oh my goodness, this is like a must buy. You have yeah. to get this calendar. Um, but it, but yeah. it looks fantastic. And uh, it's probably, uh, obviously, not as hard as your day job. So was yeah. it nice to have a break to go yeah. Vogue a couple of minutes? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, do absolutely. some Voguing. But kudos to models because yeah. it's not an easy job. <laughs> 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 it really isn't. But, you know, just like in any profession, if you just try your best, yeah. you, you can achieve a lot of great things. So, like, yeah. uh, for me, you know, the main reason why I did this calendar was because I wanted women in the five boroughs to see themselves. And to know that they can accomplish so many great things. All you have to be is 17 and a half. You can sit down and take the fire test. And, you know, they could be a New York City firefighter. You know, yeah! They... <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. They can do everything that we set our mind to. Yeah. So, you know, it was empowering. And I said it's the first time that we're actually going to be featured along with EMS. It's such wow. a great thing how the fire department was so inclusive to Amazing. everyone. I said, absolutely, I'm going to be in this. 